Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to knit this beautiful summer sweater with new techniques. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, please check my description box for all the details. I put links, you might want to check them out. Today, I want to show you how to knit this beautiful saddle shoulder summer sweater. Okay, it's not raglan sweater. And the sleeves are German show roll cap sleeves. As you can see, it looks like a, you know, raglan sweater because the the top of the, uh, you know, sleeves are longer and short at the bottom. Okay? And this is complete seamless project. Okay, now let me tell you how to knit briefly. Okay? Start knitting back of your neck. The cast on include saddle stitch and front stitch. And you just go back and forth, back and forth. And every time you pass the uh, saddle stitch, you increase front side and back side. And just keep knitting. Then whenever you had enough for neck opening, you connect to create the uh, neck opening. Then now you keep knitting in round. Also, the saddle reaches the uh, enough length for your shoulder. Now you stop increasing and start knitting front and back separately. And whenever you reach close enough to your armpit, you create the armpit curve and connect the body front and back. Then now you start knitting in round and finish the body. And after the body, you add neck rib and sleeves. Okay, now let me actually show you how to measure, where to measure to make a plan. I'm going to use my t-shirt, but that doesn't mean you have to use same measurement as your t-shirt. Okay, so start from back of the neck and this cast on and measurement, well, is actually including the, uh, you know, uh, one stitch each side for the uh, subtle stitch and one stitch each side for front piece. You also have to think about the uh, front opening depth as well. Okay. Now the uh, subtle length, you know, this is just the idea. I think I'm going to need three to four inch that subtle shoulder. Okay. And then shoulder to armpit. I kind of want to, you know, make the uh, slim, you know, smaller size of the, uh, you know, sleeves. So I pick six inches. If it's bigger, sleeves going to be bigger. And widest part, one side, 18 inches. I really like, you know, kind of baggy type of the uh, sweater, especially summertime. And I knit swatch and take a gauge 4 inch by 4 inch, 19 stitches, and 26 rows. And now, let's do the math. Not my math template. I'm going to actually use my template to make a plan, do the math, because, you know, that'll be easier. If you don't have this template, you have two options, two choices. One, you have to do your math manually. I'm going to leave the example math in my description box so you can follow the instruction. It's actually quite easy ratio math, but if you don't like it, uh, the other option is you can buy this. Uh, this is only seven Canadian dollar. Okay, I'm going to leave the link in my description box as well. Okay, so let's find out all the cast on number and everything. First of all, I have to input my gauge information, which is right here, 
number four. Okay, so uh, my swatch was four inch by four inch. If you're using centimeter, go ahead, just ten by ten. And my um, gauge was nineteen stitches and twenty six rows with some four by four inch square. Okay, and now um, do, do you remember my? Well, of course you don't. Uh, my back of my neck opening was 8 inch. Okay, so let's um, find out right here. Number 12, your width, my width is 8 inch. So there you go, 8. 38, okay? So 38 is only for my back of the neck. And I have to add one stitch each side for the uh, saddle stitch, also one stitch each side for the front piece. So 38 stitches, this is only for back of my neck, plus two saddle, which is 40, and then plus another two for front piece, so 42. So once you actually find out this number, add four stitch, okay? So my cast on number is 42, okay? So next is important, uh, the plan is the height. When you finish increasing for the saddle, now you're actually needing going down towards to armpit. And I actually uh, measure the height from shoulder to armpit, which was six inches and I want to find out the row count. So right here, height, my desired height was six inches. So 39. And this number has to be even number. So I'm gonna say 40. Why even number? Because there is a front and back. Because again, you know, some part I have to actually need you know, a back and forth in flat. So there's the right side and wrong side. That's why I picked the, uh, you know, even number. So 40. And next one is the uh, the widest part with. So 18 inches. Do you remember that was around the armpit area? And 18, which is 85.5. Again, this you know, uh, should be even number, so I pick 86, okay? So th this number, okay, why I have to actually find out this number, that's because when I stop increasing, I will tell you to count, stitch count, okay? Then the difference, you know, 86 my well okay i'm gonna tell you my number okay when i actually stop increasing uh, my one side of the uh, the stitch count was 80 okay and this is 86 so i need six stitches i have to increase towards to finish in the uh, you know armpit card you know what i'm saying so six stitches for right and left side so I have to increase three stitch okay uh, both side to create the armhole curve right that's why you need this number okay but uh, depend on your size and everything so I will talk about it you know a little later okay so that's what you need to know. So for now, um, I have to start with my sti uh, cast on number 42, okay? Pretty much it, okay? I don't need anything else. So let's move on to the uh, actual knitting, all right? Cast on 42 with scrap yarn. I want to start with the right side. So I'm using the uh, scrap yarn. And whenever you finish making, you know, cast on, tie the knot and move to the other side. 
So I can actually use start right side. Well, you know, okay. And prep row, it's going to be two rows. And I want you to actually stock in it stitch, which is knit on right side and pearl on wrong side. And I want you to put the uh, marker, okay? You knit first stitch and marker and knit second stitch, then marker. You have to kind of sandwich the second stitch, okay? Like that. And knit all the way and you do exactly same thing, okay? The second stitch from the ending, you have to sandwich that, you know, stitch with the uh, marker. Those two stitch in between markers, that will be the uh, saddle shoulder, okay? And in between markers, okay, always, always one stitch. So if you're increasing inside of the, uh, you know, marker, you're doing something wrong. And prep row number two, all pearl, okay? And I just want to make sure about it, okay? So in between markers right there, that's the back of the neck. For me, 38 stitches, okay? And both sides, one stitch, and then one stitch in between the marker. Okay, so here is the old, the vest I needed it before. Uh, this actually pattern is good for the uh, vest as well. This is the uh, saddle shoulder. That's in between markers. You know what I'm saying? So one stitch each side for front and one stitch for the uh, saddle, then back of the neck and I'm going to knit back and forth back and forth and every time I pass the uh, that saddle stitch I'm gonna increase around that saddle stitch you know what I'm saying but the saddle stitch has to be one stitch whole time all right so now let's start increasing around the uh, saddle stitch Increasing number one at the uh, saddle stitch. I am going to make one left on the right side of the uh, marker and make one right on the uh, left side of the uh, marker. It's a little bit different than raglan sweater. So you got to be careful. That's about it. You know, everything else is easy. So knit one, knit until the marker and then make one left on the right side of the marker. The first increasing is a little bit tough. That's because, uh, you know, there's not too many stitches underneath. So it's kind of, you know, hard to find the running thread. But make one left. Make sure running thread is shifting left. And always knit the uh, stitch connecting to next stitch. So the front loop is connecting previous stitch. So back loop is connecting next stitch. So you're going to knit back loop like that. This is make one left. And then slide the marker, knit the saddle stitch. Oops, and slide the marker then you know make one right again the saddle stitch always always one stitch if you increase in between you did something wrong okay so now make one right the running thread is shifting towards the right that's the right position and the loop connecting to the next stitch is front loop so I am going to knit front loop like that. This is make one right. There we go. And 
open it all the way down to you know the other side of the marker okay and you do the exactly same thing it's simple okay right there meet you there and here it comes knit until the marker then this is right side of the marker but I am going to do the uh, make one left so hook on to the left needle and back loop this is make one left okay and again slide the marker knit subtle stitch and now make one right you know the first one always harder because it's kind of hard to grab the project so well for me anyway and knit the last stitch that's it and increasing row number two wrong side I am going to increase as well and I want you to remember what you did make one left and make one right okay right at the end on the right side you remember okay so the increasing on the pearl wrong side is always same as right side so this side I am going to make one right pearl because that side on the right side I made make one right so this is make one right pearl so shifting right but this is pearl so the yarn front and then put the needle straight in that's because it's a pearl you know what I'm saying so this is make one right pearl okay so if it's you know the wrong side right side of the marker you gotta do make one right and that side on the right side I did make one left so I am going to do make one left so picking up the uh, you know thread and make sure the running thread is shifting towards to left and the back loop is attaching to next stitch so I'm going to knit back loop but back is knitting side so it's a little bit hard keep the yarn front and then kind of you know back back you know what I'm saying like that this is make one left pearl okay and I'm gonna show you one more time so don't worry about it and you don't really have to worry about okay I did this and I did that on right side so I have to do no no just follow my written instruction okay I just want to tell you you know for your future okay so make one left side and this side make one right so I am going to do make one right pearl which is picking up the running thread and make sure running thread shifting towards to right there you go and front loop is attaching to next so just straight in and there you go make one right pearl and slide the marker and pearl in between then now make one left pearl and left pearl is a little bit tricky but it's simple back loop and needle from the back so back back there you go and the needle come out front and pearl that's it and you just have to you know repeat increasing row number one and row number two until your desire saddle shoulder length and you know before I hit the uh, desired subtle length I probably have to close the uh, you know the front piece as well front neck piece okay so just keep knitting 
until your desired length. All right? And here comes I knit and knit and increase. You know, slowly the saddle shoulder is getting longer and longer, and definitely I need more. However, uh, my, you know, uh, front piece uh, is deep enough to create the, uh, you know, uh, neck opening. Right, but I don't want to have the square, you know, uh, neck. So I am going to, you know, increase little by little, well, two stitch, and then you know, create the curve here. So this is increasing number two front neck, knit one and make one right because I want to shift towards to right because this is the you know left side, and that's it, and knit until one last stitch and make one left and knit one and please remember you know i'm not talking about it but i'm obviously increasing subtle you know increase okay so don't forget that and here is the right side of the neck curve the first you know increase and I only increase two stitch each side but you can actually do more if you want okay just you know the, your neck opening is a little bit deeper that's it so it's really up to you and wrong side I'm not increasing so just all pearl however again don't forget about the uh, subtle it's completely different increasing. So, you know, I still have to increase for the saddle. Okay. So I finished for the front neck. So now I want to connect. Okay. So it's simple. You just have to count back piece and both front piece and subtract. So my, you know, back piece is 74 stitches. And the front piece total is 42 and 32 is the difference. But I subtract 2 because when I actually connect, I am going to increase, you know, one more time. You know what I'm saying? So now it's on, uh, you know, right side. When you actually connect, you know, and start knitting in round, you have to actually knit on the right side so right here knit one and then increase make one right you do exactly same thing okay and go the other side then finish the uh, you know the other side of the uh, increasing then you add new cast then connect you know what I'm saying So here is the one. So total of the three stitches I increased. Okay. I mean, you know, each side. So total of six. And here it comes. So I want to, you know, have the same stitch count as back and front. So I am going to add... 30 stitches again if you want more you know uh, more round neck you should increase more you can maybe increase two stitch at a time you know a few more rows stuff like that okay so it's really up to you I could but you know my neck is so skinny you know, and um, my neck measurement is only 12. So, you know, I kind of want to have keep the uh, smaller, you know, neck opening because this is like a t-shirt like, you know, shape. Anyway, so I add 30 new cast right front. Okay. And I add new begin marker 
And now I am going to add. I mean, you know, connect. And I just actually uh, check the, uh, you know, the subtle length. And I, I still need to increase subtle. And by the way, you um, connect, right? So now I am going to knit in round, which means no more wrong side. So what you have to do is you just have to increase only right side of the method at the, uh, you know, subtle shoulder increase. You know what I'm saying? Because no more right, you know, wrong side. And that's okay. It's going to be same effect. Okay? So it, it, here's what I said. You know, after you connect in your front end, front neck, you will have to increase at the subtle. Use only right side increase method because you're needing in round. Okay? You know, you don't have, which means every row you have to increase until the, uh, you know, um, the subtle length uh, hits your target, you know, length. And this part is a little bit tricky, okay? So if you are knitting uh, yours, uh, I think now you should kind of put it on and make sure. If you like the oversized, like a drop shoulder type, that's fine. But I didn't really want to have the uh, drop shoulder type. I kind of want to stop right on the shoulder. So I had to really make sure about it. Okay. And there you go. This is good enough. All right, so I just want to make sure, and it's about four inch, yeah, and this is it, you know, this is done, which means no more increasing for subtle, okay, and I am going to uh, knit separately, right, the front and back, which means I am going to bind off that subtle stitch to you know split in half back and front okay so that's what I'm going to do now so knit until the uh, subtle sandwich marker okay and bind that subtle stitch off and I keep the uh, the one marker to make sure where is the, uh, you know, uh, back and front. Okay, so there we go. Here it comes. So I keep the one marker there and knit saddle stitch and remove the second one and knit one more and then bind off. That's the stitch is the uh, saddle stitch and this stitch on the right side after the marker that's back belong to back piece okay and you do exactly same thing there okay so it's done so this is the begin marker right so now you don't need the begin marker because I have to transfer those stitch onto right needle because now I have to split in half back and front. Okay, I kept the uh, the begin marker, but there's no reason to. And the working yarn is attached to the uh, last stitch, but that's not where I am going to start, right? So I'm gonna eventually cut that yarn and reattach the uh, ball of yarn from you know back and front piece and I am going to knit back and front separately but I am going to knit them at the same time which means I have to prepare two ball of yarn okay and now I'm going to knit towards to my armpit right for how long 
There we go. My target desire height from the uh, shoulder to armpit is 6 inches and 40 rows total. So from the tip of the uh, saddle shoulder, you start counting 40 rows. But the 40 rows including armpit curve. And now you have to think when you want to start increasing. Okay, so you just have to knit back and forth, back and forth until you start creating the uh, arm hole curve. You know what I'm saying? So let me do little, little, little math, okay? So my widest, you know, the part was 18 inches and 86 stitches. And now I have 80 stitches each side. So 86 minus 80 is 6 stitches, and I have to increase both right and left, so divided by 2 is 3. So I will have to increase 1 stitch on right side only times 3, okay? Total of 6 stitches and 6 rows, you know what I'm saying? So I want to knit 40 rows, 40 row is the end of the uh, armpit, right? So, do you know when to stop? Exactly. 40 minus 6 rows, 34. So, I need now 34 row. You know what I'm saying? And I just actually finished when I'm talking. So, now... I finished 34th row, which it was wrong side. So now connect on right side. So from the tip of the, uh, the saddle to end of the, uh, you know, the armhole has to be 6 inch and 40. And my increasing is 3 stitch both side, but only increase on right side. So, increase wrong side, increase wrong side. So, it's going to be 6. That's why 40 minus 6 and 34. Then I stopped. So, now, let's do that. But we already talk about increasing and all that. So, I don't really need to show you. But, you know, I increase 3 stitches total one stitch at a time okay so for me 35 37 row 39 increase and 40 row i am going to connect you know what i'm saying so i'm whole row number one okay right here i want to increase towards to right so knit one and make one right. I'm not going to talk about make one right, you know, how to do it because you already know, right? So knit one and make one right and knit all the way down to one last stitch and make one left, then knit one. And uh, the other side, you got to do same thing, okay? And um, whole row number two, wrong side, is all pearl. And again, you have to repeat row number one and row number two until your desire increasing. Okay? And you kind of have to think, okay? So when you finish increasing, which is row 39, okay? You kind of want to turn the project and wrong side you want to knit. But now I want you to connect on row number 40. So row number 40 was supposed to be on wrong side. But no, do not turn the project. Okay. Just wait. Okay. And breathe. Now I am going to connect front and back. 
and when you connect i am going to add new cast okay um i usually put the you know stitch count maybe inch and a half to two inch worth and this time i put uh eight cast on and this number has to be even number okay so eight stitches for me is you know 1.6 inch so that's actually a good number all right so here's the thing you know the back piece front piece i already finish increasing so here is my new begin and i'm adding eight stitches there which is one about 1.5 inch worth you know this is kind of last chance for you to increase around near your you know the chest area so if you want to increase more go ahead but if you increase more it's gonna be bigger sleeve as well so you kind of have to think okay so after i add eight stitches as a new cast in between front and back piece just keep knitting and you know obviously you have to connect the other side as well and you do exactly same thing add eight stitch and soon as you add eight stitch and connect the other side now you're knitting in round only one side and now i knit you know few inches and this is good enough then i decide i'm gonna actually add more stitches 25 percent you know more so i have a eight a 188 stitches total now times you know 25 percent is about 47 stitches and 188 divided by 47 is 4 so i am going to increase you know one stitch every four stitches and why i'm doing this okay by the way uh repeat of knit four and i did make one left you can do make one right if you like make one right but if you use make one right you use make one right all the way okay the reason why i you know um add 25 percent more stitches because this is like a t-shirt like sweater and if i use the uh, you know one size smaller needle for rib it's gonna get shrink a bit at the bottom of the body and i didn't want that this is not like a sweater this i want to knit this like a t-shirt okay so if you add 25 percent or 30 percent at the bottom of the body you know it won't get shrink too much and now i change the uh, needle and i'm adding the uh, the the one by one rib but it's not just knit knit back loop one and then purl one you know one by one ribbon it's up to you but i need just little texture you know because it was just a stockinette stitch you know uh, all the way down and i got bored and i need little bit texture so i used the uh, kbl you know a uh, rib and i i'm binding off right now with the uh, one size bigger needle so it's gonna be stretchy there we go so that's about it and now i want to show you how to you know do the uh, you know the neck i already you know transfer back of the uh, neck onto the uh, needle and now i am going to knit up okay and on the side knit up you know um repeat of knit three stitch up side by side and one space skip and you repeat okay so you need up you know every space 
three times, then you skip one space and then knit one up. Then you just have to repeat. And for the、uh, the front part, do you remember I add the、uh, 30 stitches new, you know, cast out front to connect? That's,、uh, you know,、uh, width and, you know, 30 stitches. So I actually knit 30 stitch up. I didn't use this skip, you know, knit up. Only for the、uh, side part, I did, you know, Skip, knit up, okay? And you know, add the,、uh, the one by one rib. Now I want to show you how to do the、uh, you know, stretchy cast off, bind off with tapestry needle, something like that. Pearl two together. And please do not pull too hard, okay? And make sure. The yarn has long enough and knit one, the first one, and then drop the first stitch off. So, when you did do the,、uh, the purl two together, you can't not drop the、uh, you know, stitch off. So, you see here, so purl two together, but I don't drop the、uh, stitch off, and before do that, knit the first one, then drop the stitch off. Okay, more fabric, more stretchy. So,、uh, the smaller place like this, you know, the neck and you know, the sleeve, I use this actually bind, bind off technique because it's more stretchy. I don't really like tight, tight. You know, opening. So here is my neck opening. It's beautiful. I like it. Okay. And that's the,、uh, the subtle shoulder. And I already knit the、uh, one sleeve with the、uh, German short row. Okay. It's really beautiful. You know, cap sleeve. You can actually、uh, finish. In halfway, and it, it's, it's cute. You can do whatever you want, but I want to show you the,、uh, you know, the very basic. Okay? The first, you have to knitting up around. And let me tell you this、um, the knitting up part, two sections. Okay? The first one is the, the where you put the、uh, new cast. At the bottom of the,、uh, you know, the armhole. And second part is rest of them. You know what I'm saying? So that's the new cast part. For me, eight stitches. And I am going to actually knit up, you know, eight stitches right there. However, starting in the center of the new cast, that's where、uh, the begin is, right? And other part to top and back here, that's The second part, okay? And the length was 14 inches, seven for front and seven for back. And according to my math, I should have 66 stitches within 14 i n c h okay? So that, well, that's kind of the、uh, target number, okay? If a little less or a little more, fine. but If you actually can knit up close to that number, that'll be perfect. Okay? And、uh, the knit up、uh, multiple of three numbers will be perfect. Well, has to be. Okay? So、um, again, I am going to start knitting up in the center of the、uh, new cast. So. One, two, three, and four. Okay.、Um, one more. And then I am going to add clip on marker there. Okay. There you go. And 
now start knitting up and knitting up is same as the neck you know knit three stitch up side by side and one skip space then start knitting three up you know just repeat so if you keep knitting you know three at a time and total stitch count should be multiple of three okay and i am going to place the uh, the marker two and three and also four so you need four clip-on marker well it doesn't have to be clip-on marker uh, i'm gonna you know change anyway but uh you know you have to put the marker later that's why i have to use the uh, you know um clip on marker because i'm not sure how many stitches that i'm going to um knit up right i have some kind of the idea by the way you know this is my second sleeve right so i already know how many uh stitches i have to knit up it has to be exactly same as the other one and the other one i knit up actually 63 total except that you know new cast part okay so when i actually knit up uh 21 stitches i can actually place the uh, the marker to you know and then knit up another 21 and marker three stuff like that but you know uh if this is your first sleeve you know you can't do that right so after you knit up okay you put the clip on marker to divide complete three parts you know what i'm saying so uh the red one is marker one and pink one is marker two and orange one is marker three and the that part is the last you know the new cast part and the except the uh, the new cast part i have 21 stitches each section three parts you know what i'm saying and at the very bottom you know the new cast that's you know eight stitches so i need up eight stitches total you know what i'm saying so after the green marker which is marker four i need up four because i already need up four at the very beginning you know what i'm saying so the total is 63 plus 8 so 71 and i have to have the even number later on for the at the rib but i can actually easily uh adjust the number so forget about that you know you can do that worry about that later anyway so um i am going to knit one round you know kind of prep and uh marker two and three i am going to change because i don't like clip on marker um because it's kind of hard but marker one and four the red and green i'm gonna keep it you know clip on marker because it if it's different marker or different color later on it's easy to recognize what's what you know what i'm saying so um if you you know don't have many colors you can use the uh, scrap yarn okay so anyway uh knit one round and when i'm knitting one round i'm gonna actually change uh the marker okay the only uh marker two and three the bottom two marker the red and green the sun which the uh, the new cast that's uh marker one and marker four the red one is marker one and green one is marker four okay so don't get confused anyway just knit one round and change the uh, marker if you want okay so now uh german short row technique kicks in so let me clear things again 
I changed the uh, marker and I kept the, uh, the marker one and uh, four as a clip on. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Okay, you gotta remember that. And marker one and four is the new cast, which is the bottom of the uh, armpit. So the marker two and three is the top of the, uh, you know, sleeve. So you know what I'm talking about, right? So now the German short row. You're going to knit all the way to marker three. And do the little German short row technique, you know, there, trick, there. And coming back to marker two. And you do the uh, German short row. And coming back and back and forth, back and forth. And whenever you back and forth, you pick the one stitch at a time so you're gonna knit coming down towards to marker row uh, marker one and four and whenever you finish no more stitch okay it's done and you knit now one round so next time i knit up i'm going to all the way to number three right so between three and four, you didn't knit. You don't knit. So, you know, one row difference. But, it, you know, today I want to actually discuss about only basic, you know. So forget about that one row difference. Okay. And then, you know, after you finish the, uh, you know, uh, the cap sleeve, you can make it longer. You can stop you know halfway you can do whatever and i just want to you know show you uh, step by step uh basic german short row cap sleeve so and i'm gonna make it only t-shirt length okay so let's start german short row number one right side Okay, a lot of people don't like the German short row because a lot of people confuse which one is the German short row, you know, stitch. But now I'm going to use the, uh, you know, um, marker so you never be able to, you know, get confused. Okay, so skip the uh, marker one and knit all the way to marker three. So here comes. So written pattern says knit until marker three. And RM3 means remove marker three. So knit until marker three and remove marker three temporary. Okay? And knit one. Then turn around. Now Row number two, wrong side. Okay? Keep the yarn front. Okay? Slip one pearl wise. And tug the working yarn to the back. Can you see when you actually pull the working yarn? Now you have a two stitch fake two stitch okay create that fake two stitch and now it's on wrong side which is pearl so yarn front and tight pull tight and then start oh by the way i placed the uh, marker before the first pearl okay and then pearl I was focused on the uh, tugging part, okay? So just make pearl all the way to marker two, okay? So I'm just, uh, yeah. Okay, just going back to 
மாக்கா சு over there the pink you know this is the reason why you should change the uh, color or shape you know so it's easy to you know recognize so there we go now marker 2 remove it and pro 1 and turn and this is row number 3 right side okay so now yarn front okay this is knitting so the working yarn goes tend to go to backs but make sure yarn front and slip one purl wise and then tug the yarn working yarn i mean pull the yarn to create the fake two stitch you know what i'm saying that's one stitch but when you pull you know looks like two stitch right that's it and place the marker back on okay then now this is knitting side so pull the working yarn hard and start knitting that's it Okay, that's row number three. And now you're going to knit to marker three, going back. I told you you're knitting back and forth, you know, in between marker two and three. And every time you reach each side of the marker, you do the German short row, you know, trick, and then, you know, pick one stitch at a time. Okay, so here comes knit until marker three. And now, you know, after the marker, there is the, uh, the little weird fake two stitch right there. Do you remember after the marker? There you go. And remove the marker and that weird two stitch you create because you pull the yarn and you are on the right side now so knit those two together g knit two tug that's what i said in written pattern means german short row knit two together because it's one stitch right but fake two stitch and after knit two together knit one that's the gonna be the uh, the short row fake two stitch now so yarn front and slip one st stitch back and tug so create the uh, two stitch out of one stitch and place the marker back on and working on front because this is pro side okay and knit all the way to uh, marker two. So remember, after the, you know, marker, that's the two stitch that I create. See, those two, okay? From this side, you can't really see, is that one stitch or two stitch, right? That's why uh, a lot of people don't like the uh, German short row. They get confused. I, I thought I made the uh, two stitch, but it doesn't look like two stitches. That's because maybe you didn't pull too hard or you just get confused, something like that. But once you replace the uh, marker, after you create the uh, fake two stitch, next thing you know, okay, after the marker, there's the, uh, the fake, two stitch no matter what right so now you know and pearl all the way and again after the marker there is little weird two stitch and you have to do pearl two together German short roll pearl two together that's the one that's a weird one and don't even think that's you know you made a mistake no 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 that 
the jamun short roll, fake two stitch, and purl two together there. There we go. And purl one. Then turn around and you do exactly same thing. Yarn front, slip one stitch, okay? Purl wise and then pull. The reason why yarn front, okay? That's because you want to pull the yarn to the back to create the, uh, you know, two stitch, fake two stitch. That's why. And place the uh, marker back on. So next time you come back, you know which one is the uh, fake two stitch to create, uh, the do the uh, knit two together. And when you actually knit over the uh, marker, you got to be very careful, okay? Make sure about that. And you knit all the way down. And when you hit the uh, marker three, which is blue, you know, um, there's fake two stitch, so you got to do the uh, knit two together. And one stitch. So I'm showing you. Do you understand the the top 21 stitch is the basic, right? And you, no matter what those, you know, 21 stitch you, you know, knit every time you go back and forth. And every time you go each side, you pick up one new stitch. So the mid part is longer and longer. And then catching up side way, you know, shorter but longer than, you know, the bottom part. You know what I'm saying? That's the short row. Okay? So this is basic. That's why I actually divided by three. But you didn't really have to divide it by three. If you want to, you know, uh, smaller shoulder on top, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll talk about it, you know, some other time because I don't want you to get confused. Anyway, so this is um, right side, okay? So row number three, knit all the way to blue marker, which is marker three. Okay, there you go. Knit, remove the marker and... This is fake two stitch. You have to knit two together because you're on right side. There you go. And then knit one. Then turn. So here's the thing. Every time you, uh, oh, there we go. This is the important part, okay? Put the marker and yarn front and then prop. So let me tell you uh, why doing this. Because every time you turn around, you create the a big gap. And you have to do a little trick and avoid that gap. There you go. Remove it. And that weird, you know, two stitch, fakey two stitch, knit two together. No, this is purl two together, I'm sorry. And then purl one, okay? Okay, here's the thing. Now, I'm going to, you know, turn around like this and start knitting. See, can you see the, the big gap? So, you know, you, you don't like that gap every time you turn around, right? So you have to do a little extra work. You know what I'm saying? Which is one of them, the, uh, the double stitch and, you know, uh, knit two together or purl two together, you know, next row, okay? But the, the important thing is the next stitch, the new stitch after the, uh, the knit two together or purl two together, okay? Because I am going to uh, make purl one here, 
This is all good now. Okay? But the problem is, here, when I turn, right? So, I just actually made the apparel, that stitch, right? And, but I am going to slip that stitch back. So, you need this stitch extra. You know what I'm saying? Because I already need that stitch. And create double stitch. There you go. There you go. Double stitch. More fabric. Uh, more smaller gap. Okay? And then when you come back, you actually, you know, uh, need that fake, you know, stitch again. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, whenever you turn the, uh, you know, uh, the work, you create the uh, gap, but you uh, need one stitch a couple times. Okay, so it's more fabric there. That's the German short roll. You know what I'm saying? So, that's how they actually, um, what is that? Close the gap. Uh, and there's other way to do the short row, but uh, this, you know, cap sleeve, I really like the uh, German short row because it's quite easy, you know, back and forth. I can see and see there's no gap. There's no gap. And then at the bottom is shorter. The top part is longer, obviously, right? I really like it. And again, you know, if you actually finish halfway, it's cute too. You know what I'm saying? I like it. Anyway, so it's almost done. Done means, you know, whenever you... Uh, have no more stitch before the uh, marker one and four means you're done. So here, this is one last stitch that I just knit and I am going to make the uh, fake double stitch right here. And this is the uh, end. Obviously, I have to do the, uh, you know, uh, Pearl two together or knit two together there. And the other side, there's one more stitch to go. So I have to go all the way back. There we go. There's no more. That's, uh, you know, the last fake stitch. And there we go. Th this is the uh, fake and one more stitch to go. So I got to come back and do exactly same thing here. Pearl. Remove the marker and purl two together, the fake two stitch and purl one. Turn around. Don't forget to do the, uh, you know, JSR trick. Create the uh, fake two stitch and then start knitting. Okay? So, you have to actually finish on right side. So this is it. You going back to marker three, and I have to do the last knit two together there. Then that's it. You're not going to go back because now I want to knit in round. So that side is going to be knit two together. When you knit come around because after this you know i'm going to knit in round you know what i'm saying so here comes there we go and i'm gonna remove the marker completely and last knit two together and remove the uh, marker four finally and knit until begin marker which is in 
in the middle of Newcast, which is right here. There you go. That's it. This is end of the uh, the German short roll cap sleeve, but I am going to knit a little bit more longer for the uh, sleeve. I, I actually knit four rolls before the uh, you know the rib. There you go. There you go. Look at that, cute. Okay. That's four row before the rib. And you, you just have to, you know, um, decide how long you want. You know, you can go longer. Okay. So I'm going to just add in a few rows and the uh, one by one ribbon, same as neck and body and all that. Okay. I just want to, you know, make sure here. You know, remove the marker one and that two stitch, you have to knit it together. Supposed to be purl two together, but there you go. And that's about it. Okay. I don't know you like that, you know, the uh, German short row cap, you know, the sleeve, but I really like it. And, you know, I need lots of raglan sweater, but, you know, sometimes I need something new, right? And you do too. And I really like this, you know, the subtle uh, shoulder because if you understand, uh, you can arrange so many ways. You know, you can actually make thick subtle and put the, uh, you know, the cable designs and stuff. You know, there's so much you know, potential. All right. So, you know, let's try new things together. Thank you for watching. Enjoy knitting. Bye for now.